Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Astroneer. Yeah, so I've been pretty busy since the last episode. I've spent about an hour and a half trying to flatten out a little piece of land. And I say little, it's kind of gotten a little bit out of hand. But I think it's big enough for a main base of operations on the moon. Um, yeah, so I've managed to get a couple more of the solar panels there. And we've got three batteries. So I think with all of those solar panels and those batteries, we're pretty much sorted for the time being. It might be worth making a couple of the big uh, wind vanes, which would be nice. Um, that might be an idea. I'm not quite sure what we need to build those. Let's check. And then we can... Aluminium. What a surprise. That's why we needed the aluminium. Well... I did pop back to Terran and actually grab some because I needed some compound. So I went and got a hand from my other half and we tested out driving around in a truck with two people, which was interesting. Um, turns out that my computer being fairly old um, didn't really like having someone else there as well so frame rate wise it was worse than how it is when I'm on my own and um, yeah but we managed we managed to pick up quite a bit of compound and um, and also some aluminium while we were there and then we got it all on this um, spacecraft of ours and then bought it back so there we go I've got another one here Oh, I did not ask to go in there, you stupid, stupid machine. Did I press tab? No, I didn't. And I'm stuck between the machines. Ah, uh, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Never one still coming. Oh, super. It's coming from the right. It's green this time. It's a little down bit so. and then there's an up bit. Yeah. Yeah, if we go down and up, we should be okay. We've run out of power, me. I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, whilst I was trying to uh, flatten out this land as well, I managed to pick up some resin. So it wasn't really intentional, but, um, you know, seeing as I grabbed it, I thought, well, it is what it is. And, and over time, I found that... Uh, our little resin thingy would replenish so that was handy so there we are there's the wind vane I'll wait and see how it works so so yeah let me let me run through some stuff so the flattening tool I'm kind of getting a little better at it it's not completely flat but it is I, I decided to try and keep it looking fairly normal like fairly natural I suppose um, yeah, so it's not completely flat, but it is kind of getting there. So I went a little bit over this way. I kind of went out round and then thought, well, I need to try and make ramps all the way round and things so then we can run up and down um, and stuff like that. So I made a bit more of a space over here and I've gone right up to where this big crater is. I'm not quite sure what to do with this edge yet. As you can see, it's not completely flat. It's on a little bit of an angle, but I've started to try and make some edges so then everything's you know kind of climbable and stuff like that so I did put tethers and everything underneath this platform so then as you're running around on the platform you're always oops tethered up without um, without actually having loads of tethers everywhere so underneath you can see there's kind of tethers dotted about and for the time being they work through the floor so it kind of works out um, you can see some of my failed attempts at trying to make ramps and things like that and um, yeah so it, it's getting there what I've kind of been doing is building things up and then trying to look for a, the right shape and then try and manipulate it from there so you can see here it's not quite done yet but it's getting there so I, I've done all around this end and I've done a bit over here you can see this is this is one of the areas that I'm trying to oh god um, trying to marry up so there's all the tethers that I've put underneath 
So what I've been trying to do is like build the land up slightly and then look on here for what I think is a flat bit and then try and whoops not good not get myself in there if I can help it but yeah and then try and do something like that you see it's not too bad see I do tend to run out of power when I'm not connected to the tethers though so but yeah so I've kind of been doing that um, yeah this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to but I'm, I'm fairly happy with this bit you see it looks almost like it it just has always been like this but we've got a nice big flat top to it which is cool some of the rocks and stuff seem to have appeared as well I don't know whether that's a natural thing but yeah kind of flattened it out to here see this this all looks really good I'm very happy with this that just looks like it's always been a thing it's cool yeah so this is that cave that we found loads of those seeds in so coincidentally I was thinking it might be worth collecting a few of those seeds because maybe um, maybe they're going to be used for something eventually possibly so yeah I thought if, if we kind of grab a storage so we've got the compound let's get an empty storage bin let's take this resin off of us right yes so what I was thinking so if I bring this down here we'll put loads of seeds on it and not leave them on there just in case they grow or something silly um, but yeah maybe we could plant them in you know some kind of uniform fashion make a little bit of a farm see how they grow see how quickly they grow and then if if eventually they do become a thing then you know then we've got some seeds already which is cool so yeah this is all a little bit um, higgledy piggledy down here you remember the last time Ooh, careful the last time we were in here we did kind of dig it around a lot so right do they fit on the storage yes they do so let's fill this up we could always put a few on our backpack I suppose so that fills that up let's uh, kill these ones and get some more We've got so many um, tanks that. Uh... Oh dear, camera angles. Camera angles! Right, let's get this back up and get them all planted. I really don't like the idea of them being in a backpack. I've heard um, someone that I work with has been playing this and he stuck one in his backpack and then it started to grow and he couldn't take it out of his backpack and then it ended up killing him so that being said I don't really whoops, want to hang around with these in there too long so what I was thinking was up the other side of where all of our solar panels are I think we should try and plant them all if we can plant them I haven't tried um, or at least leave them lying about so yeah along this flat bit here so let's see if you can yeah they kind of just bloop in the ground okay nice it's good I feel a bit more comfortable not having them in the backpack I must admit so putting them over here as well it's away from all the places that we normally run around so that way we're not um, not going to accidentally run into them and their their spiky death that seems to happen. Ooh, camera. Yeah, so if I, if my computer was slightly better, then I might have said that we could have 
played together for a bit longer maybe while I was recording but uh, it really did struggle so right we'll leave them there and we'll see how they grow it looks like some of them are starting to grow already so maybe they grow fairly quickly a couple of things I thought the fuel condenser should go here seeing as though it's next to one of our um, it's that thing vehicle bay so I've kind of prepped that got some tethers there let's stick those on our backpack and the other thing as well was a research thing I thought it, maybe we don't have anything else to research now but we might do in the future I mean this is still early access and you don't know what they're going to be doing so you never know and we've got the power and things so we might as well um, yeah and I found this in a rock when I was trying to get all of my uh, edges done I've kind of stopped doing that for a while because after about an hour and a half I, I did get a little bit uh, you know it was the flattening tool sometimes your little finger just starts to <laughs> starts to ache after a little while hmm. right so we're gonna need some copper which is fair enough um, just to be able to make up the fuel condenser and you never know we could always extend out this way we could maybe make another fuel condenser here possibly and have two of them going that could be a good idea we've got the space haven't we so yeah let's um what do we need three of those good so maybe if we extend this out Hopefully this won't intrude. Uh. Okay, no, it didn't. Good. Fuel condenser, so we need copper. So that would be awesome if we can do that. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Yes, I'm happy with that. Oh, blimey, look how much they've grown already. Ha! Huh? That's amazing. It's like a perfect little line of them. Maybe I did plant them a little bit too close together, but... I wonder if when they get big you can pop them and then... I suppose we'll find out. Maybe get some more seeds out of them. Okay, well, whilst that's growing, we're going to need some copper. And I could just go grab some copper from above ground, but I did think that it might be nice if I drop off some tanks. I think we should probably leave some of my tanks behind. So we've got a little bit more backpack space. We do have some tethers. And I think that the battery and one tank well two tanks will probably be enough on it for now so yeah if we take some compound so we can make up some more tethers there we are then we can head into the cave see if we can find anything interesting possibly then bring a storage unit down oops I'm not very good with the the not hurting myself at the moment in this bloody thing Hmm. Lots of resin. I think we should probably try and collect as much as we can. It might be worth trying to make this cave entrance a little bit more viable as well, so it's easier to get in and out. I can kind of demonstrate a little bit, I guess, of how I'm uh, using the forming tool. Oh, look, compound. I didn't really see much compound um, whilst I was out and about on the surface of the moon. Hopefully there's lots under under the surface, that would be nice. One other thing I, I thought about is seeing as though uh, there's no storms on the moon, it would be nice to be able to just have the base on the surface and have all the tethers underneath so it's all nice and tidy and clean and whatever. Um, I think it might be an idea when we go to another planet to try and maybe make a base in a cave and then have all of our power above above ground possibly maybe hmm. okay well I think we've don't need the oxygen really do we keep running tethers in lots of these seeds everywhere Get rid of these spiky plants and not cop it hopefully keep running these tethers out in the ceiling maybe it'd be worth having a run around as well 
Foster it down here. And we need more tethers. Boobity burb. Don't need the power really. Nice, that gives us a bit more space too, which is handy. There's loads of these plants now. It'd be really good if we end up needing food and things like that. You can keep a supply of stuff. Really making a bit of a mess of this cave, aren't we? I'm going to need to try and tidy up the... Uh... Oops. Try and tidy up the floor at some point. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how far it goes and things like that. And then, you know... I'm not the most organised of people when it comes to playing this game, but... Uh... I wonder if these... All these seeds and stuff, if we just leave them lying about, whether they just... Oh, d no. Okay. Ah, <sighs> spiky, spiky death. Rightio. Well, luckily enough, I left the two tanks on the top, so. Uh, yes, I was just going to say, I wonder if leaving all these seeds around is a really good idea, but, um. Hmm. Whereabouts was that cave? Oh dear, I've got turned around. Where were we? It was over this way, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. We hadn't actually got that far into it, to be honest, have we? At least we've got an empty backpack now, eh? Maybe I need to try and be more careful when I'm doing this running around malarkey. It probably doesn't help that I've left it all, so... Piggledy, piggledy. Sometimes it's hard to tell which ones are the seeds and which ones are still planted though, isn't it? So, Where did we die? Just there. Ah, look, there's one that's still alive then, I see. Grab that backpack. No. We need that body. Ah, there we go. Cool, so the backpacks do come off. So we need that. We need that. We need those. Yep, we need those. We could take the resin. Don't really need the power that's left on there. And let's try and be careful then. Okay, so that's the kind of noise they make when they die. Haven't really been in too many caves in the middle. What on earth's that? Is that just a normal crash thing? I've not seen one that shape before. Shall we? Wow, look, it's got solar panels. We need to dig this out. That's amazing. I wonder if there's anything inside it. I don't think I've seen one like this before. Let's get tethers around it, shall we? There we go. Now we can see it a bit more. Yeah, I've not seen one like this before, I don't think. It's amazing. I wonder if we can connect to it or anything. I've just placed a tether for some reason. Hmm. I wonder how far from the surface we are. I don't think we... We haven't technically gone that deep, have we? There's more resin. Seems to be loads of resin in the ground here, doesn't there? I was finding that when I was digging around doing all the flattening thing as well. Okay. Try and make a bit more space here. Hmm. 
Where is that tether? Good, we can pick it up. Hmm. Oh. Does it look like there's anything in it? Might have to build a winch and try and drag this out of here. Doesn't, does it look like there's a space? We could always drop down into that cave there. Hmm, it's bigger than I thought. Hmm. Maybe we should try and uncover it, maybe. Ah! Alright, let's try and make a bit more space. Hmm. Wow, discovery. Didn't even get that far into a cave. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I didn't really want to collect more resin, but... Okie dokie. Can't quite get all the way up, so... We are obviously a little way down. Right, well, what we'll do then, I'll place this last tether so then we can take this resin back. Ooh. Let's not get too carried away here. I'll go take back what we've got. And then in the next episode, we'll continue down this cave see what we can find. Maybe we can dig that thing out, get the rest of our bits on the base, and uh, yeah, we'll find out about those seeds as well. So, yeah. Hmm.